Welcome to the office. What you doing here? Oh, festival. When I sit, yeah. half an hour, this one starts hurting. Low back. To go like that, get a little better. Okay. This arm, this feet, this feet is now. It's 60%. The whole leg? Yeah. Okay. This one is maybe 70%. Not meaning you have no feeling or buzzing, tingle, or t uh, No, it means not feeling. I feel everything, but not 100%. Weak? Yeah. No, it's, see, I can't. They just doesn't have it. Looks Sometimes like it's numb. twenty pounds. Numb means I have no feeling. Pins and needles is not numb. Is it numb? Meaning if you touch it, you don't feel it. No, I feel it, you know, but not very good, not like that. You feel it, but not a hundred percent. Yeah. Is what you're saying. Okay, fair enough. And that's been going on for how many years? This one for maybe one year. And this side? This one is okay. This one, every two three years. Sciatic goes down, bother me for a month or two months. Okay. So number one is your back, number one is your low back. Lower back? Okay. I think that's the things comes here too. Okay, the sciatica type pain. So yeah. low back, sciatica, numbness, you have less sensation in your right leg. 60, sometimes 80%. Yeah? Yeah. And, and you can't you, lift it up, say the lifting up. Lifting up what? You can't lift it up like the other one. Yeah, you see, this one doesn't come up. Okay. Yeah, but this one comes. This. Okay. Okay. So this right. one. So bringing your bringing your right leg onto your left knee. Yeah. How about when you sit down on the floor? Do you sit on the floor? No. You sit on a chair, couch. Yeah. Uh huh. Okay. I used to sit on the floor having lunch, dinner, but not a long anymore. time ago. Okay. What else is going on? That's it. Neck is a little. Me feel, but it's okay. okay. Alright, fair enough. Is there anything you want to add? Yeah, he always asks me to walk on his back because he has stiffness, tightness, pain, and okay. he can't sit for a very long time. After a couple click. Well, we have a few things to talk about. You eat very well, I see. You eat, you eat, you eat very well most of your life, I see that. I always had this stomach. No, I'm not talking about that. I don't care about the stomach. I'm talking about what's inside of it. We need to talk about it, okay? What is inside of it? We're going to talk about it, don't worry. Okay. Have you been, are you on any medications right now? Hmm. No? Do you get any coldness in your legs? You get, uh, does you, do your legs get cold? Cold to the touch or cold to him? Generally, do they get cold? Does he complain that they're cold? No, or? not really. Not really? No, he's always Maybe he's get hot. Up. Yeah, he's always okay. really hot. All right, we're on the valley too, His so it's hot out <laughs> Yeah, I don't want okay, to. So you watch. run hot. You run hot normally. He always is hot. Okay, cool. Right. We're going to go over your x rays. After your x rays, we're going to do exam, figure out where we're going to start, okay? okay? Let's go over this x ray first. And what are some of the things that we see? The first thing we see on this profile is what? We're going straight here and we're leaning to that left side. Now, when we're looking at this, okay? Overall, you're, you're antalgic or you've been in this position for a while. The question is, are you leaning away from pain? Is this posture, you've been sitting a lot. When you go to Vegas, you drive or you're the passenger? No, I drive. You're the driver, okay. So the first thing is we want to look at our foundation and do we have a level base and foundation? A couple of things that point out automatically, this is very white here, okay, uh, on this on the sacral base and it looks like I'm looking in the front of the sacrum and we have a lot of scar tissue not scar tissue but calcification in the SI joint so yes they're very stiff and you said left over right is better than right over left it's harder to bring your right leg over right yeah. okay and let's look and see why is that happening uh, we'll go over your foundation Okay, so let's go over the foundation and let's look and see. Do we have a level base and foundation? Okay, and that's the first thing we need to see. So I'm doing the Gonset analysis right now, and we're going to get some information as to what your foundation is doing. Okay, so here are a few things going on right now. We have in his foundation, right, in order to have a stable building, we need a level base and foundation. 
And what we see is this. The pelvis is rotated to the right side. The sacrum goes with it. So if we take the, the right side, it turns in. IN8, it goes in. The sacrum on that right side goes back three and it drops down th uh, three on the left. So your overall, you favor the right side. However, you have a slightly short leg on the left, so it wants to bring you back to the left side. So I'm pretty sure when you walk, you got the little Persian wiggle going on when you're doing it. You go side to side when you walk, I'm pretty sure. As we go up the spine, you can see whatever the instability was, this is trying to fuse here. This is five, four, three, and two are trying to fuse. As we go up the spine, it starts to tilt here. Now here's the interesting part. You've had this for a while, this tilt. You can see the body is trying, there's some calcification here. That's the body trying to stabilize. Otherwise, what happens? It's going to tilt over. So this is the body trying to stabilize. A little few osteophytes, calcification, wear and tear. Okay, so the whole thing goes to the left side. We're still good in our upper cervical. We have a C2 wedged on the left. We have a C1 wedged on the right. So C2 goes this way, C1 goes that way. That's all compensation, though, for your foundation. So we need to figure out what the heck is going on here. Why are you tilting? Okay, that's what we need to figure out. And now let's look at your side profile. And now let's talk about all the good, yummy stuff you've eaten in your life. And let's look at your posture. This is the low back. And when we run the line here, what you can see is this line is our posture line. This line should go through the base of 7 and 2. So you can see you carry your body actually in front of you. You walk forward like this. So you walk forward and tilt to the left side. That's your walk. Let's look at your discs. And now let's get some good information here. Okay, so... Let's look at the disc. We can see L5 disc is starting. It's, it's, it's less. It's a lot less. 4 is tilting. 3 is tilting. 2 is pinching a little bit in the back there. You can see 1 is pinching. But here's what I want you to get. You have almost what's called a stair stepping. This is behind this. This is behind this. This is behind this. You see this white tube right here? That's calcification of the abdominal aorta. That's the main plumbing that goes to your legs. So you need to get that checked out, please, at some point. That's kind of important, okay? <clears throat> That's why I asked you, are you getting cold? Are you getting cold extremities, cold feet? Okay, right in here. So this is kind of more, when it shows up on an x-ray, it's been there for a minute, okay? Some people like to say it's not a big deal. It kind of is because you can see some spots are whiter. I want to just rule out and make sure there's nothing clogged in there. Okay, because that can contribute. You may need to call the plumber and get the rotor rooter in there. You said it's calcification? Of the abdominal aorta, yes. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12. So, you see what I'm saying. Now, if we go here, <clears throat> we have a little black lucent line starting to develop. What that is, it's called a vacuum cleft sign. That means the tissue is dead, dude. We need to wake it up. When I say dead, it means it's not moving. There's no movement in the disc, so there's no hydration. There's nothing going on there. So I'm hoping we can work on the fiber sacrum and start to get things moving for you, sir. All of this is compensation. The discs are decent in through here, but you got wear and tear, dude. You like a classic car. We got to fine tune you now. 70 years old. Huh? So you, like, what's your favorite car from 70 years ago? <laughs> Chevy. Ah, uh, Chevy. Okay, now we get to the next same thing. We have, you have a lot of wear and tear in the body, sir. So I'm going to explain to you what I can do for you, what the realities are, then you decide. I'll see you for a few visits. Then you decide what you want to do from there. Fair enough? Okay. Fair enough, doctor. Okay. We need to figure out L5 and sacrum or the hip. We have to focus on your foundation today. Whatever I find up here, I'll deal with. I don't need to be messing with this right now. That's not his issue. Okay, this is not his issue. Mm -hmm. Now, if we're looking at the nerve supply that he's talking about. So, what you're describing going down your feet is all part of that sciatic nerve. Okay, so we need to see what's going on here in the tailbone. Yeah. That's number one. 
So whether we're working on five sacrum or pelvis, well, let's figure it out. You ready to get started? Yeah. Okay. You're going to walk to the corner of the room and back to the corner. It compensates pretty good, dude. <laughs> Keep walking. You see how he wants to go to the right side, though. He's mm -hmm. going. He wants to go to the right. He comes back to the left. Because this this left is a little numb. Well, it's not to, just because it's numb, it's because it, it's, it's turning that way. I have to lift it up, put it down. Cor the right leg, yes? Yeah. Because the left leg is short, so he has to raise it up. He's not stepping, you see that? Because the left leg is shorter, he has to do this. Okay? Let's keep going. Shorter. One more time. Shorter right. from birth or shorter from the... Trauma. The measure difference is four. If I can fix the pelvis, I don't know yet, but let's mm -hmm. see how we respond. We can get it to one. Mm -hmm. So what will happen is we're going to start changing your mechanics quite a bit. Have a seat here. I hope. It's going to require some remodeling, okay? No problem. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Let's check the, the scoping, starting at the base of the neck. And the first thing we're getting is 15 points C1. C1 left side. Why now? Why are you coming to me now? Have you been, you've been watching me for a while, right? Believe me, it's glass. No, I just found you 10 days ago. Oh. Yeah, he comes to me and goes, we don't have a good, because I've taken him to chiropractors, but it's always like basic chiropractors, there's nothing any, like the seated, I saw different things, he saw different things, and he's like, we need a good chiropractor. And well, he then, definitely needs a good chiropractor, just like you need a good mechanic, right? <laughs> right. There it is. L5. Oh, we're going to have some fun, you and I, today. <laughs> we're getting around L1, T12. We're getting L5. And I'm getting C1. Let's go ahead and check static palpation, starting at the base. You can see all this is swollen. This is all edema. This is tough. This is all edema. All the swelling. You, you're a jokester, right? He's the joker in the family? Yeah. Or one of them? Always. No. Don't worry. <laughs> it's part of, part of his defense mechanism. <laughs> Probably. That's how he hides his stuff. Come back slowly. Come on. Number five, more pain when I push here, or sacrum? A little pain, not much pain, just normal. Right there. You don't talk much, do you? Five, four, two, one, twelve. Twelve, L5. C1, T12, L5. Head down, isolating the upper cervical mechanism. That's okay. Head up, isolating the lower cervical. Say, right side is good. Does that bother you more when I do this or when I do this? No, no. Dad. It's okay. Really? It's okay. Bother as in pain? Yeah. Maybe, maybe that's because I like it. <laughs> no, Dad. <laughs> Head down. Okay, so when he goes down and to the left, he's twinging. I can feel it in his eyebrows, okay? When he does that. Look up. When he goes up, that's just stuck, but it doesn't hurt. So we're going to go C1 right there. Yeah, sit that. up straight. C1. That hurts. L5. Let's check the pelvis. Open and close. Right side only. Keep going. Open and close. Left side only. If anything, it's the right pelvis. Okay, we're going to wait on that. Let's start on 1, 12, and 5. You got it? Got it. Yalla. Let's go. Yalla.
starting on his T12. Habibi. 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 Yeah, no. And that's the home run, baby. Gotcha. Deep breathing. I need your help. Mm -hmm. Hold his feet. Down. Lightly, lightly, lightly. Just like, like this. Oh, on, lightly. On it. Okay. lightly. Just lightly. 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 Nice and easy. Habibi. Uh, yeah. Yalla. Send you back to Allah. Hold on. Oh. Joseph said. Turn your head to the left. Put your right ear in the hole. Turn your body towards me. Do me let go? Let go. Okay. Turn. Okay. Put your head inside here. Put your left hand here. And drop that elbow down. There you go. Oh. This guy's gonna make me work. Come up slowly. <laughs> What's that? Good. <laughs> that feels good. Da, 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 da. Let's walk it off now. Walk it off. Walk, it off. walk two or three times, please. Now, in a true numbness case, there will be pain before it gets better if it's truly numb. That's why I keep asking, is it truly a numb case or just like pins and needles and buzzing? So loss of sensation, numbness, he'll have pain before it gets better. So if he tells us, you know where it was numb, it's hurting now. That's a good thing in this case. This is the whole thing is a little numb. There was one point he said it was like 80% numb and I would touch it and it would feel sometimes cooler than the other. I was cold. Check the artery, please. Keep walking. That my classification? My physician said go take an x-ray from here, no? I think we don't have to do it. Hmm. Come over here, have a seat. Give it a May seat. I continue? Yeah, go ahead. Sit back for me, please. Relax there. Let it go. Relax, relax. Let it go. There you go. Home run. That was a good one. Walk it off. Walk it off. It's going to feel a little different now, okay? Neck is clear. Um, you need some lotion, though, on your back, okay? Tell your massage therapist use more oil. Okay. <laughs> T12 is clear. There you go. Back slowly towards me, all the way back. A little different. Do you not know? feels like. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, let's go back on the high low. I want to do one more thing. Let's get that pelvis moving. I'm going to be on your on your glute right here, okay? There we go. Holding the left, pushing the right. Nice. A little more. There you go. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Walk it up. Now check it out. So the first thing I want you to notice is the mobility, the movement. Movement is much better. Yeah. Keep walking. I have one of those at home. You're going to use it. Yeah, time to use it. Just sit and bounce on it, five, ten minutes a day. Sit and bounce on it. Just sit on it. Practice sitting on it an hour a day and balancing five, ten minutes a day. Come back over here and have a seat. <laughs> Let's tune up the rest. Oh, oh. <laughs> I should have got that. Yeah. Could have warned me. There you go. There you, go. <laughs> there you go. You missed it. <laughs> Don't worry, there's one. 
the future. <laughs> go, go on your back. Raise your right leg. You need to check his circulation. There's definitely a circulation issue. Okay. Relax the leg. Relax the leg. Relax the leg. I can even feel the difference there. Mm -hmm. But right now, from what we did, you'll see. You feel it for. Mm -hmm. You can feel it. There's a little more heat in his calf right now. Mm -hmm. When you're looking at your x-ray, yeah. You go and do an x-ray report, you have degenerative disc disease, okay, at multiple levels. You have osteophyte formation, you have calcification, you have uh, spondylosis, if you want me to get into all that. You have calcification of the abdominal area. There's a lot of stuff going on. The idea is we want to first get things moving. That's number one. Number two is, I'm seeing you for a couple of visits. Maybe three, should I normally tell them you patients? Three, four visits. In those visits, number one is you need to be moving better because my homework is 10,000 steps a day, walking. No gym, none of that for you. Swimming, you have a pool or access to a pool, get inside, go swim, get movement. Your body needs movement right now. Um, I'll give you something for inflammation to bring the swelling down. The more we can get inflammation down in the body, the easier we can get through the adjustment. Okay? I am, if, it, if this is a true numbness case, then it's going to hurt here. And you're going to tell me, Doc, it hurts here right now. I was getting a, a, a pain here. That's a good sign. That means we're on the right track. If after a little while we're not getting any change there, then I don't know if I'm going to help the numbness. I'm very straightforward. That was the one thing in Gonstead's work was numbness cases. Okay? The one thing. That he said that if you can't, if you're not going to get that pain response, then you're probably not going to help the patient in that case for that symptom. But you have enough other stuff going on as well, and we deal with it as we see. Okay? Does that make sense? What I'm saying? Yes, doctor. You want a nose job too? Oh no, my, my nose is okay. Are you sure? I saw you adjust nose. Are you do that? He has a left deviation. Breathe in and out. Breathe in. There you go. Chin down, look down. There it is. There you go. That's it. Breathe in. Yes. Okay, Habibi, come on up. Stand up and walk it off now. Walk off that nose job. Walk it off. As you're walking, tell me if anything is different, good, bad, doesn't matter. Right. Are you breathing any different? You should steam. Do some steam for him. Relax the hand. Relax the hand. Relax the hand. Relax the hand. There you go. Relax the hand. Relax the hand. Questions? Questions? Do you have any questions? No, doctor. Just give me a point by compact paper. I'll bring him back as many times. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Welcome to the office. Thank you, doctor. Oh, Janu! Thank you, doctor! You're welcome!